Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to today, your magic day. Let's start a wonderful day with our learning. And today is about magic mirror. So on your left hand side, if you look, there's a magic mirror. The appearance of things changes according to the emotions. And thus, we see magic and beauty in them while the magic and beauty are really in ourselves. Says Khalil Gibran, the poet and artist, 1883 born and crossed over in 1931. So if you look in the left hand side, there's this magical mirror and there's all magic around it. So it's all about our reflection. Let's understand what the day has to unfold for all of us. You can spend the rest of your life running around trying to beat the outside world into the shape you want chasing one problem after another, trying to fix them, complaining about situations or other people, and never succeed in living your life to the fullest and realizing all of your dreams. But when you make the magic of gratitude your way of life, everything in the world around you magically changes. Because you changed. So what you are attracting changed too. In the inspirational words of Gandhi, and the lyrics of Michael Jackson's song, Man in the Mirror, <clears throat> which impacted hundreds of millions, one of the most powerful messages of all time was delivered. Change the person in the mirror and your world will change. If you have followed the 26 magical practice to this point, you have changed. And even though it is sometimes hard to see the changes in yourself, you will have felt the changes in your happiness and you will have seen the change of improved circumstances in your life and the magical changes in the world around you. You have practiced the magical power of gratitude for your family and friends, for your work, money, health, your dreams, and even for the people you come across each day. But the person who deserves your gratitude more than anything else is you. When you are grateful for, to be the person in the mirror, feelings of dissatisfaction, discontentment, disappointment, or I'm not good enough completely disappear. And with them, every dissatisfying, discontenting, and disappointing circumstance in your life magically disappears too. Negative feelings about yourself cause the greatest damage to your life because they are more powerful than any feelings you have about anything or anyone else. Wherever you go you, and whatever you do, take those negative feelings with you in every moment. And those feelings taint everything you touch and they act as a magnet, as a magnet, attracting more dissatisfaction, discontentment and disappointment with everything you do. So when you're grateful to be you, <clears throat> you will only attract circumstances that make you feel even more better about yourself. You have to be rich with good feelings about yourself to bring the riches of life to you. Gratitude for yourself enriches you. Whoever has gratitude for themselves will be given more and he or she will have an abundance. Whoever does not have gratitude for themselves, even what he or she has will be taken away from him or her. Today, in the mirror work, a lot is going to happen. So let's understand what's coming our way. <clears throat> Rhonda Byrne says, to do the magic practice and practice, uh, mirror practice, you go to a mirror right now, look directly at the person in the mirror and out loud say the magic words, thank you with all your heart. Mean it more than you ever have before. Say thank you for being you. Say thank you for everything that you are. Say thank you with at least the same amount of feeling you've used for everything and everyone else. Be grateful for you just as you are. So uh, when you conclude this book, you can just look at the mirror and say thank you. You can look at your mobile selfies and say thank you for who you are as a person. Continue with the magic mirror practice by being grateful to that beautiful person in the mirror for the rest of the day today and say the magic words, thank you, every time you look at yourself in a mirror. If you're not in a particular position to say the magic words out loud at any particular time, then you can say them in your mind. And if you're really brave, you can look in the mirror and say three things about yourself that you are grateful for. And these three things could be anything that you like. 
if for any reason in the future you're not being kind to yourself you will know to give to the one person who deserves your gratitude more than anyone else and that person is the person in the mirror when you're grateful you don't blame yourself when you made a mistake when you're grateful you don't criticize yourself when you're not perfect when you're grateful for being you you're happy and you will become a magnet to happy people happy situations and magical circumstances which will surround you wherever you go and in whatever you do when you can see the magic in that person in the mirror the whole world will change so it's all about being grateful for ourselves about our life about remembering that gratitude is everything once we are in gratitude everything changes let's read the magic practice number 27 the magic mirror count your blessings make a list of 10 blessings write why you're grateful reread your list and at the end of each blessing say thank you thank you thank you and feel as grateful for that blessing as you can each time you look at yourself in a mirror today say thank you and mean it more than ever before third if you're really brave while looking in the mirror say three good things about yourself about what you're grateful for fourth just before you go to sleep tonight hold your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words thank you for the best thing that happened during the day so how wonderful is this day going to be when all of us are going to be appreciating ourselves so thank you everyone for joining in let's see each other tomorrow morning at the same time